last week was a lot. Let's recap the team. I went in there to talk about our situation. Mm -hmm. He was focused on what Kendra had going on. And you want to fight? Shut up, Wayne. I don't want to hear no more. I had only shared this with two people. You know, it's, it's really hard for people to come out of those dark spaces. Well, bro, like, he was fucking niggas on Twitter. I don't know where he at now. The niggas in Atlanta do. Trash. All I wanted y'all to say was yeah. like, are you okay? People want to be like, girl, you you a tyrant and you're doing it just because you want better for a Kiki thing? Did you help build? Do you feel like any of this stuff could be prevented? As long as he go right, I'm gonna go left. I've never done a swimsuit a day in my life. And best believe, I see the Chanel girls look. Can I get my Chanel bag now? <laughs> Hello? Okay, let's be for real, you are messy. We all this missy. You're trying to come at me because you don't want to handle what you and Nick need. Me and Nick have been talking. I don't understand how the Dallas girls dealt with this mess. Let the record flag. I never brought this to camera. Kane and Troy, I feel like they got their own issues. I'm home, I'm ready to go. I'm a grown ass bitch on camera. I ask questions, oh, if you don't want to answer the question. If you're going to deliver a bone, deliver the entire bone. Like, tell Troy about all these nothing ass bitches you called him. I see him candle making. get into the mix of it, you know, I'm slightly thinking, oh child, you know, maybe I should have stayed out of it. Maybe I should have just minded my damn business and let these candles solidify and we could have just gone on about our merry way. Hang on. What is it? How are you doing? I'm good. That was fun. Considering the fact that I did have them bring this up, I'm going to take the time to talk to Dominique and Troy just to see how they're feeling and see if there is some way that we can rectify the situation with King Kane. You know, me and Troy are in a good place moving forward, but me and Dominique have been very spotty over the years, and I'm not sure if our relationship has progressed to a place where I can come to him like this. Did you really enjoy it? I did. I like little stuff like that. That was very sweet to me. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Did you, yeah. did you enjoy it? I did. Pop him on the wrist. I was gonna get to it. Like I said, I did it for me. Didn't want it to be all that. After she gets up and walks out, the dramatic exit that she is known for, it's just kind of like, why are you here? Why are you in my space? Why are you in my city, in my areas? This is mine. That was yours. You might have been the king there, but you won't be the king, queen, nor prince over here. So baby, keep it moving, because I'm telling you, these girls over here is not what you want to be of. But I wanted to bring you here just so you can have like a fun time because I know the last couple times you've been with the rest of the group has been crazy and I yeah. feel really bad. I'm good, so. Good. And I want y'all to know too, like, you know, girl, girl, we the, old, we the oldest people in the group. At this point, <laughs> yeah. In terms of just how long we've been here right. and like, you know, but this year I don't want to fight with y'all. Like, yeah. you know, I love you. Yes. I love you I so love you much. Too. And I love you too. Oh, and you. I really want us to try to, you know, cultivate a genuine relationship. I'm gonna try my best, you know, yeah. my yeah. very God-given best. I literally admire you. Your work ethic is on another level. So yes. when are we gonna be able to be adults about anything. Walking away is not gonna fix the issue. Now, I feel where Kane coming from, I also feel where Troy coming from. They both have points. But to walk away from the situation leaves us at a standstill. It's like you put a pin in it. Bitch, I'm still recovering from tussling with a bitch. So, girl, this is the least of my worries. Just for me to be around you and to be able to just feel your energy, it keeps me going. Yeah. You know, that's why I'm trying my best to avoid all that craziness, cause, mm. you know, he could have fucked my face up when I had to go to City Hall yesterday. Yeah. And it's like, I don't want to put myself in those types of situations. Yeah. Especially when people not out here doing the same thing I'm doing. I still admit you was fighting and you got something to lose, I got something to lose. But fighting with people that ain't got nothing to lose, it's like fighting a crackhead and you'll never win. So just leave it alone. Oh my God. Well. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. Leave, leave it, it alone. God. <laughs> it's over and done with it is what it is. Like, it's no bad blood. Like I said, I just get flustered when all the when yeah. it just start getting too loud. But you handled it very well today. I'm Thank proud you. Of you. I appreciate it. Yeah, you did. I appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, you really I did. It. I'm excited. I think that this is gonna be a good 
Stop being a good ride. And if we trying to be these A-list people in the city, I feel like at some point we have to take our mindset to that level. I agree. I do my dog grooming, modeling, all that stuff. I'm being recognized for that. I want you to be recognized for hosting in your right. podcast and stuff. You do a million fucking things and you will. You already been recognized. Tony's amazing. Mm -hmm. Tonk Tonk is amazing. amazing. It's like, come on. We winning right now. Oh. We winning. Well, let's right. let these candles cool down, cool it down. Mm -hmm. Even though Troy got tried to get it hot a little bit. <laughs> I, I said, no, it's a spice, but nothing major. Bitch, put some hot wax on me. <laughs> I'm trying to be small like y'all. So. Please. <laughs> I ran away from heartbreak. Got nothing in return for my pain. So today I am going to Radiance. Um, Radiance is a plastic surgery place. I came here today because back in 2022, November, I had my lip lift and I had alarplasty, which lip lift means I had skin removed here. And then my nose, I didn't have a nose job, but I had my nostrils reduced. But the issue was he lifted my lip, but he barely narrowed my nose. And I feel like if I'm paying money for you to do something, that I need it to be done. So today we're here for a revision. Oh, now you want to be up. Riz, I am a working woman. Girl, don't you go to work in a minute? No, I go to work at 10. Girl, that's in a minute. It's 8.22. Yeah, I leave out my house at 9.20. <laughs> Girl, you excited about your second surgery. No, I am excited because this is what I really wanted to happen. He brought my nostrils in, but I wanted them actually reduced on the sides. Like I was telling him last time, baby, I'm a femme queen. If I gotta have a scar to achieve what I want, then I just gotta have a little scar. It'll heal. Being a girl that has walked femme queen phase for years and years now, my nose has always been one of my biggest insecurities. And not because of face and ballroom, but just within my transition period. So although this isn't rhinoplasty, which I will have one day, it's something that I feel like can temporarily satisfy me. Did you see this one? That's very pinched. Yeah. Very pinched. Here's my thing, right? For me, I don't necessarily care about the the naturalness of it per se. Yeah. Yeah. I definitely want some of some of the side reduced and then definitely brought in more. Can I need a mirror for you? Yeah, sure. Sorry. The only thing I want to show you is that if you push this in, mm -hmm. this will flare out more like this. But you are you take but you're taking some off right here, right? No. No. Well, that's way too short. I understand, you know, that's what you want. Well, yep, yep, at this point, I just don't know what to do because I'm really frustrated. I'm ready to go now. I understand as a medical professional, this is your work. So I get why you want to take the precautions, so to speak. But this is my phase. And if I'm paying you to do it, I need you to give me what I want. I know that my nose won't be perfect. I'm not having a rhinoplasty. I'm having alarplasty and a revision at that. So just do what I ask you to do. So what we do today is mm -hmm. removing a more wedge of this skin here. Mm -hmm. If you're good with that, we can go ahead and do it for you. Okay. All right. Yep. So will my nose basically look the same, but it'll just be in more? Yes. Now I'm going to take away the mirror. We're going to go ahead and do this, right? You ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. I wouldn't say I was nervous about the outcome, although he felt like it wasn't going to be what I wanted. I understand when with some cosmetic surgeries, once you do them, there's no going back. You know, some people say I look exotic or whatever. Fine, I'll take it. But I'm happy with what it is right now with goals of having a full rhinoplasty in the future. But you know why? Because it's swollen. The, the stitches are in, it looks super wide, it looks super big. The first time I went under some kind of sedation, but this time it was only local anesthesia. So when they pump local into you, it swells everything up. Anytime when you have surgery, you have to, you have to stay the course because it's gonna look better over time. <laughs> So she 
has a nice narrow nose now. When I pass in the street, bag of money in the passenger seat. So in preparation of the night of sex toys, I'm planning with the vets in this group. I am down to the Tokyo Valentino to meet up with my boy King Kane so that we can get inspiration from the place, pick out some outfits, choose some games, and just catch up on what has been going on. Especially him, since this is the first time I'm seeing him since the whole camera fiasco. I'm so glad you come out to this this place with me today. This is my first time here, most definitely. I know it's not yours. No. But I always go to the one on Cheshire Bridge. What they be doing in there? They just have like a little party down to the bag. And what what kind of party you been? Just go and you kiki and you have a vibe and you might get slapped with a gun. <laughs> 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 really? Oliver hit me up and we're like, let's go to Tokyo Valentino because I do know that he's planning a sex toy party. I'm coming up with my own adult toy novelty line. Let's get this together. Let's look at some of these toys. You know, I'm freaky. But I do have my logos with me now. Oh, good. You, you, you yeah. do your sketches. No, I have references. Good, that's good. So I love the boldness of Coach, mm -hmm. but I like the simplicity of Sugar, of sugar Coat. Okay. Okay. You know I got your coins, baby. You know I got it. Stop. My daddy got it. Stop. My butt is still healing. It's <laughs> actually know. sore today. I know. I know. I wanted Oliver to do my logos. Apparently she was busy with in the mix with Twix. So I get it. I respect it. You know, however, I still think it was tacky um, after we had a conversation about doing this logo and you creating this for me. I really wanted to work with these girls. Like, I'm not here to compete with these girls. My star doesn't dim um, any dimmer from being around other girls who you know, have star quality or lack thereof. So I'm gonna go with that one, but for me, I'm probably gonna do something like that. But is all that black. Big Booty Judy? <laughs> What's going on, Judy? Big Booty Martha. How you doing? So good to see you. Have you ever met King K before? No. Hi. King K, Drew, Drew, nice King K. Seven. I'm sorry, seven. I gotta get it ingrained in my brain. Oh, baby, y'all know I love sex, and I am going to the sex shop. My good pud had called me. Me and her have not seen each other or linked up in a good minute. And I'm excited to meet um, King K. And most importantly, play with sex toys. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. We'll see you. <laughs> Girl, we just in here hanging out, kicking in. Oliver's having a sex toy party soon, Trump, but I'm- Are you coming? I'm going to drag time. Yeah. You know I was supposed to go. I can't wait it's to see you on Drag Race. Fingers crossed. Yeah. Lots of the stars. One, one day. day you shall be. One day, one day soon. One day soon. One day soon. soon. We're going to speak it. We're going to claim it. So tell me yeah. about you, okay? Trouble. Ignorant. Trouble, baby, run. Uh -oh. fine. I'm a Virgo. I'm a Virgo, but I'm a, and I'm a real Virgo. I'm very analytical. So who do you know in the circle, in the group? I mean, I know Oliver. Mm -hmm. I know Troy, Dominique. Okay. That's Okay, it's a Jay. The Who's Jay? Oh, okay. more. I'm like, who's the Kids? Can I, can I ask a question? I, I hate to sound ignorant. What's the difference between having sex when you were like me, <laughs> and now you're going to another place? <laughs> like, what's the, what's the, I don't know how to say it, you know? Hormone blockers. I don't really get like, you know, do do do. I can orgasm and nothing comes out. It's just the feeling. The feeling? And yes. I love that feeling. Do you still have the Thank you, Lord? <laughs> Oh, you be having those? No, the feeling, when, the sensation of. I have a sensation. Oh. Yeah, whenever you do it. Fat Eddie. Oh my gosh. The front and the bite. It's the bite for me. I am being introduced to Candy Cane. Y'all know when I like somebody, I give them a nickname. And right now, I like the bitch. Finding out that she is a Virgo, I am a Leo Virgo cuss. So, you know, I'm like, oh, okay, me and her, she a Virgo. Let's see what's tea. Let's see what you do and who you are and what you do successfully, quickly. You know, when we take showers, we don't have to make it real intimate. Uh-huh. And you just can't <laughs> what you had made. Girl! And ceremony. So I had to oh, God. You know, I'm just gonna say the candles went very well. Everyone left with something. It was really great. I think you should more so ask King Kane how it went. For me, I mean, it went great for me. Obviously, I felt like I was completely 
ambushed and just completely <laughs> torn apart. Yeah, like my you my, you were slaughtered. My heart has been completely torn. You were so wait, wait, wait. Let him, let him, let him talk. Let him talk. Cause you know me. I, I my I, heart. I, has been, hello. Oh, yes. Okay, let so, me speak. What happened? So basically, I was attacked because <laughs> Troy and Nick Nick are friends, and what I did was being a real friend to Nick Nick. I let him know, hey, this is what's up. Handle it how you want to handle it, but I don't think y'all need to go into the next season beefed up. That ain't what we're doing. It's whack. Nick Nick has clearly stole the show, you know, and him and Wayne have their situation. And I feel like Troy was looking for something, and I just can't be that. This is not my story to tell, so don't bring the story to me to tell. Pineapple. Because if I tell it, I'm going to tell it all. Dario, pineapples. Here's the stitch, Lilo. Me and Tamika. That is on Dardo, y'all. That is in the thing. Dale, that is. We had to have a meeting. Because me being on hormones, they are very all over the place. My safe word is pineapples. I feel like you need to have a safe word in life and in sex. Kane, I asked what you do and who you are successfully, quickly, and you start jumping into my friends. I'm not that type of friend. Um, what pineapples mean? Yeah, um, I'm on hormones. And I don't want to attack you because you are talking about my niece and you're talking about my yeah. brother. Well, you I asked me my that. thing and I'm and telling you what I said. However, so I'm really I just trying to do, you no, know, no, come no, in just, and do something. Hey, and and it's, not that, like it's not that seven. Miss Seven, you know, is this pea tree from the land before time? I'm not coming at you no type of way. I'm just sitting here telling you that I feel like they have a fake friendship. Troy came at me and hurt me to my core. And I felt like Dominique just stood by and did own what the hell he said. No, I let you so talk. Let me, can, I think you wait, to wait, pineapple, strawberries, that grapes, is, that's why I mango. Said all y'all bitches on the moment. Apples. And I'm not y'all motherfucking moment. Bottom line. What just happened? Because I felt like her energy was too much. Don't come in here coming at me about some shit that don't really even concern you. This is between me and Troy and Neek Neek, if that. Did he not know that we all talk? Like, did he just, every word, everything that he's, the way that he went into that and the way he said that just was not conducive to having a conversation. Fuck wrong with these people. This is not that. Everybody wants their moment with me. What the fuck? My blood is boiling and I'm getting hot. I don't want to talk at you. I'd rather us talk to each other and it's getting to a point where we're talking at each other. I'm calling Dominique. Seven. <laughs> Hold on. Now Ollie pops out here, y'all. Yes, Ollie pops. I just wanted to come check on you. You want to start over? No, but the way he tried to play victim, and, and I know, I know it was bullshit because of the way you look. You're not, if it's not bullshit, you're not gonna make those faces. I want to be able to talk to you, however, comma, right now. You're talking bad about my friends, and I don't like that. Oh, Lord, she done called them already. Child, I come out the day, and she already done called Dominique and Troy, and I'm just like, Lord, Lord. Call these two hoes, tell them what the fuck just happened, and ain't doing none of that. And once again, I'm here, and I'm gonna be responsible for it some type of way, some type of way, and I'm just like, seven. You wanna try again? No, you should've minded your business and kept whatever Troy said to you to you. You were being Sheree and a bone collector. She coming, King Kane, don't come out here starting all that. Let the boys have the boys and the girls stay out of it. As long as Kane can get to, let me get to know her and who King Kane is and who Candy Kane is, then I'm good with that. As long as she don't get out of pocket. So no, I, like know, I lost my shit yesterday. I know you coming to Atlanta and got you thinking this shit. <laughs> I told Seven that you wanted to try again and start yes. over. I'm, I don't, first of all, I don't be for trans women. I don't go back and forth for trans women. Where I felt like you were trying to be funny when you was like, well, my niece, my nephew, you saying this, saying that. I didn't say nothing too crazy. I was just telling you my opinion. You talking about them? I'm going from zero to 100. And the fluff piece, oh, I'm a big dumb. That extra, I don't need that. You know how everybody kept telling me mind my business last season? Yeah. Mind your business. I'm not, because at the end of the day. That's not. But because when you were doing it, you were being messy and nasty and not owning it. What I'm doing is trying to help them mend their relationship. Now, I think I did a good job because now they're all tough and tight and click back up. Now you, now you think that for real? <laughs> for real. These were conversations that were off camera. So the fact that they're being brought up on camera, so now we're going to talk about it. If you really wanted to mend that situation, you would have got them together and you would have been like, hey, friends, I, I feel like there's a divide. 
So I wanted to get y'all together so that way we can talk about it. So that way y'all can talk about it. Or just listen to your friend vent and mind your business and keep that with you. I just know what to say, what to talk to you about, what not to talk to you about. We can start a new. For real, don't be saying it and it ain't real now. In this moment, I'm still quite annoyed because I feel like she tried to play with me. We need to start letting butch queens handle butch queen shit. I really feel like she just need to let me, Troy and Nick, Nick handle what the hell we gotta handle because let's be clear, I've known them longer than you have. Honey, child, boo. The truth is the truth, and 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 we just gotta figure it all now. Okay, you wanna go back inside? Well, why why are we gonna go see the wizard? Mm. Come on. The wonderful wizard. Count us off. Five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> <All right. laughs> <I'm dead. laughs>
I'm just happy that you made that phone call and said, I'm coming down. Honestly, I haven't really prepared for this moment. I've, I've been up and down emotionally uh, this, this week. Like, what happened mm -hmm. um, that you can remember? Well, as far as with your grandparents, like I said, I ain't much information I can give you on that. You know what I'm saying? I can just tell you what happened with your dad. You know, your dad, he wasn't prepared to be a father. I can tell you that. You know what I'm saying? In so many ways, he still ain't prepared to be a father. You know, I was... I wasn't prepared to be an uncle to you. You know, I tried, you know, I felt you know, proud to be your uncle, just to be an uncle, give me a title, you know what I'm saying? I don't think my, my, my brother, his relationship with his dad wasn't a good one. I don't think his dad was a good father to him. You know, maybe that had something to do with the reason why he wasn't a good father to you. The dynamics between me and my father, there's no ill will or we're not mad at each other or I can easily reach out to him and talk to him. And to know that my dad was doing a lot of things that, that was criminal, I was like, ooh, my dad's a pub honey. I can reach out to my dad now, but it's, it's like I said, it's not the same. Like he knows certain things, but it's I'm just not comfortable or trusting enough to fully open that door and you know have that conversation because he's not fully open comfortable opening the door and I can tell in our conversation is very short. I know he loves me, but it's very short. I will say this, um, while you were away for for X amount of years, you have really reached out. You was giving me something that I've been longing for from him. Yeah. There's a lot that Y'all don't know. I know y'all seen the show Legendary, me being on there season two. I found out I don't even identify with a with a gender. Like, mm -hmm. you know, I'm I'm non-binary, you know. Mm -hmm. I have my pronouns can be she all day. I had to be both the uh, master and feminine energy for myself. And I used to run from that for a long time because I always tried to be something for my family's sake. No, I knew you were different, not different as in not normal, because I mean, I mean, what is normal? But just, and even over the years while I was locked up and I was checking to see if you had, you know, become you, your differentness is not exactly welcome, right? So that makes me want to love you more, right? It makes me want to um, relate to you more. But I do think your dad loves you. I talked to your dad about you. We talked. And when you was on that show, he was proud. He was. We talked. I'm just going to be very truthful. Yeah. Uh, when I was younger, I contemplated suicide mm -hmm. because I remember being sent out at a table and this part of my neck is different from the rest of my body. So my face and my neck are different from my body. And I remember being sitting down at a table and remember seeing my, hearing my grandmother and my aunt dick picking like, oh, you don't take baths, you don't take baths because your neck is so dirty and all that. Not knowing that I'm two times, mm -hmm. uh, not knowing what it was. Step me at a table, put a bucket of bleach and water and make me scrub my neck at that table in, in my great grandma house. Yeah. And you know, I was, was given bleach cream at a young age, and, and i never really been full-blown truthful about it because I hid it. But those are like just some of the things I've been through as a child growing up um, with a woman who is so focused on image. Yeah. And the relationships with my own family is not... Uh, as I got older, it's not the same, of course. So as a child, you, you grow and love your family. This is family, this family, that. So this is why I don't go home. Because they're not ready to have those conversations yeah. by how fucked up y'all made, y'all can y'all can really can make people feel yeah. at a young age and not want to be around them. I'm just happy to hear that, that even as a child, you saw something different in yeah. me and it made you want to love me more. That's all I ever wanted was somebody to see who who I am as a, as, a, as a person, besides of what negative things people might put on me, but see me as a human, I felt like you were a father to me. Uh, even though I had a great grandfather, I got the best grandfather in the world. Yeah. I got the best stepfather in the world, but I felt like you were the missing piece that I was just waiting to finally put together uh, as far as my dad's side to have that connection. I mean, I know I'm, I'm fresh out. But we're going to continue to learn where we are so, so much the same.
saying, I'm proud of you most, more than anything. I'm proud of you. Even when I was locked up and I wasn't able to see the show and stuff, I had plenty of people watching it. So I called and just put shows over to get the rundown, you know, because I'm proud of you and everything you do. This overall experience, I'm so grateful. The little child of me got to finally meet my uncle. I know a lot of males and females might not get to know their father's side because of the dynamics of what, what may be, but I'm just forever grateful because mentally it has pushed me forward in my journey to make me a better person and to let go a lot of baggage and just love, love myself more. I love you. I love you too. Oh. Yes. <laughs> I'm pescatarian, so this is a place that got uh, seafood that I want to try. Yeah. It's been a minute, but we're back and better than ever. Sick man. Mm. You can't even say that you were. What I was saying is what I don't do. I understand. With. No, that's a knockoff, JT. And I would say it to the rest of everybody else. Smiling, yes you do. Because you're a clown, a bro. A like, you shake like a deep man. <laughs> <laughs> Stay it off and running. Coming back in this fall on YouTube. Preparation, auto sales, catering, and baking, auto detailing, sales training, leadership training, bookkeeping, business formation, notary public, business tax, payroll, specials, and event manager. You know why business solutions? Check us out today. Did you just say wedding officiant? She's many things. on what is sure to be a fun night filled with laughs, drinks, and sex toys. I have collaborated with my friend Christian Benoit, who is an associate with Bedroom Candy, to bring some of his inventory here with my vet friends as we try to get a redo from the picnic. Now child, now you know my girl Oliver that invited me to a sex toy party and I'm newly single so I'm all, I need all the toys in my life because you know I am very professional. But behind closed doors, baby. Child, these are all the damn stairs. I get the hell up out of here. He got me walking up all these damn stairs. It looked like some stairs from Yam Killer's video. Now, I'm just saying that's what it looked like. But let's see what it's giving. I need some toys. Hey, hey. Now, child, these are the only fair stairs I just walked up, honey. I don't know what was going on. I hope I'm not the only one as sickening as I am. Tonight, I am going to Oliver's sex toy party. Y'all know this is my type of shit. So I got on my sexy leopard look. I got my cat ears on. I got my mask on. I, I already know um, Cassidine and Jay, so let's get freaking in this bitch. So I arrived to the sex toy party hosted by Oliver Twix, looking like some ripped out of a 90s magazine. Berlin's not with me. She said, y'all can have fun with the sex toy party. Um, y'all playing with sex toys, but baby, I'm not playing about my money. She said, sugar daddy, what you doing? I need to see you. Hey! <sighs> All right, we here. <laughs> y'all know I love to talk about some sex now. <sighs> Save the throat, cause I'm the what? Goat. How y'all doing? Hey, yeah. 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 So, if you need a hands-on demonstration, I do. Y'all are all around the world. Will, come on, Will, come on, Will, come on, Will, come on, Will, come 
way to work. I decided to go and run and play around with some dang lines for a little minute, child. There ain't no wrong with getting freaky before you go and clock in. And they was well, well on the way in that motherfucker. It's, everybody uh, knows everybody. Yeah, um, period. Again, I definitely want to thank Oliver for the opportunity. Thank you, Oliver. Y'all ready to get into some fun? Woo! Y'all got one of them hook up dishes to the chair? <laughs> we don't. We don't have any dishes at the moment, but I can definitely get with candy. We can see what we can um, get candy as oh. our business partner as well. Now, not a candy coat. We do have. So, one question, real quick. So, how do you feel about somebody giving you a gift as a dish? Dwayne, stop. I don't. I don't. I'm not going there. I don't know. We're with him. We're going back with number three. We're going to talk later. Where the fuck is candy? Like, I see candy in the back. Candy in the back. I'm not really a fan of his yet, so where the fuck is candy? Who like far I got, oh, child, I got a two seat. I can't fuck in my car, let the top down. I know a man looks just like this. Oh my yeah. God. This is our not BK play with him. Yeah. From a bigger girl. Yeah, cause baby, I'm like, yeah. so you can get on your back. This is the play. Oh my God. God. Darn. So you can actually what you just mean? like that. One thing about me when it comes to like sex or anything like that, it don't take a lot to get, you know, Big Daddy came lit and turned up and ready. So I had to like go to the bathroom, took, pray, calm down, cause I was in heat. Right, so this is soft, so we don't have to worry about that. Which I again. <laughs> Push my hairline back and everything. I know you ain't seen no good pussy like this before, but shit, calm down, girl. All right, we're going to number three. Down, just a little bit more. Right below the cheek. Not in that, Joker. Why is you arch like that? Oh, that's all right. In the words of a very famous person, I'm all on the floor like a OnlyFans bottle. The girls are in heat, okay? They rubbing and touching and feeling on each other, bouncing and popping, flopping. Poochin' toochin'. I ain't doing none of that. I might um indulge and in purchase one or two. You know, so it's it's festive. To say the least. Yeah, had a good night. I like everybody. Like, King Kang, I did have an issue with you because I thought you shaded me. In, well, I felt like you shaded me and Kendra on your little interview or your part. Well, you know what I'm saying? I yeah, felt like the you King Kang Ray TV. But you cool as hell. Like, I like you. Getting to know all of you girls. I'm from Dallas. I'm new. I'm fresh. I really don't have no smoke with you or Kendra. Right. And I, I know that she, oh, did she cool. leave the group. I don't need it. On some I can't really explain. On some personal shit. And I don't want to try to explain her story. Yeah. What I want to say is that we now are back communicating. And oh, y'all was beefing? We kind of fell out. Like, I oh, shit. I didn't know that. And through J. Twan. Like, if it wasn't for J. Twan, like, thank God for Not you. Not Twan? What happened? What's your heart teeth done? Well, you know, break it down So after hearing what I heard about King Kane or whatever from Troy and, and at the Botox situation, I got one word for this individual right here. Silly. That motherfucker is silly. He is a, a silly individual and, and that's all I have right now. But also real shit though, like this is my fourth time like Been around. around the group yeah. and every time it's just been drama and smoke and I've just been like Trying to well, keep my head above the water. Cause bitch, we the, we are we seem like we the Yeah, so I was, right. well, I feel like uh Dominique and Troy like oh, no, I was I was back I was back into a corner. The dog and I had to um give my opinion and then me and Drew we had a conversation and wait, you was back into a corner and you had to give your opinion. What was the opinion? Me personally, I'm very honest and I, I like to keep it a hundred. Don't ask me a question if you don't want my um, 100% honesty. It's the other girls who really can't take my opinion. You can't have an opinion on something that you don't know the whole story. But you know, I know you, the you, whole you, story know, though, no, Jay no, Moore. No, 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 you know what she was told. And I speak, yeah. girl. Oh, uh, <laughs> we going back there. I, 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 I really don't have no smoke. And I didn't have no smoke with Drew. Drew right. disrespected me to my core. Are they having opinions back that you feel attacked by or you just feel like they just don't like you because of your opinions? I feel like they don't like me because I'm just very honest and I feel like Dominique and Troy have a fake friendship oh. and I kind of spoke on that and I got attacked for it. And to be honest with you, Willa, I wanted to say this to you because I know you're cool with Troy, Neek Neek, and Drew was like, Willa, Troy, Dominique, they're my nieces. Get to know me for yourself. Oh, I don't do that. Like, don't, 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 don't click oh, up with them. No, 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 
no, no. I'll see that. They feel some type of way. Like, I fuck with you. You know what I'm saying? I think you're beautiful. I think you're a body. Like, I fuck with you. Thank you. You know, she's transitioning that she is on hormones. She said that. She started screaming at pineapples. Wait, you told her you was cool with her. Now, why you I like Drew. But I want you and I to get to a place to where she's not focus on Dominique and Troy, but she focused on what is she I want Drew Seven to focus on Kane and Drew and not focus on Kane versus Dominique and Troy. Now I have heard some things about this Kane character and how he likes to drag things out and make things bigger than life. And as I'm hearing this story about Dominique and Troy and Seven and I'm like, I thought you said you squashed it. Honestly and truthfully, he's dramatic as hell, but he ain't told no lies. I I don't know Dominique, but Troy specifically, that heifer could be a little fake. She could be a little fake. My heart is broken for real. But so if, if I say something with you, but, her, but why you and, and like we get to know, I don't want to talk to her. Say. I want to talk to her. You just said you want to get what to know. What I need to have a conversation with is. My friends Troy and Dominique, I feel like you guys have maliciously maligned me and I'm hurt. <laughs> well, you using a lot of people. I'm hurt. I'm hurt. I'm hurt. I'm hurt. Girl, I don't know what the hell it is with these girls and the damn dictionary word of the day talking about maliciously aligned again. I guarantee you his ass ain't gonna remember that shit two weeks from now. At the end of the day, you a blogger, you were blogging about people that you did not know personally, and now that you met these people, they don't want to deal with you. It makes sense nobody want to deal with you if all you did was talk shit about them and now you in their face trying to be their friend. It don't make sense. The math ain't math then. It's like two bottoms, me and Rico together. It didn't make sense. I'm hurt, real. I'm telling you, every, broken, I have no real. issue with Dominique. Yo. Can't nobody say I have an issue with this man, but he always finds to have an issue when it comes to a moment. And people like that looks and search for a moment. Well, how about this? Well, can, I, can I say one thing? Can I say one thing? I'm bored. Hey, can I say I'm bored. one thing? Can I'm bored. I'm bored. Can I say one thing? Hi, hi, hey, hey, sweetie. Can I say one thing? He's looking for a moment. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. Baby, baby, I'm sweet. Oh, God. 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 Oh, her outburst the last time we were what? all together, it was partially due to her towards you. Right. And I feel oh. like she projected it on onto the, a lot of it onto other people. I kind of thought that. I kind of so yeah, was really going Wait, 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 wait. And it's a it's a touchy sit. It's a touchy yeah. subject. Damn. I and I really that. don't it's like them. Touchy. I did not know that. And I really that. don't like them at all. I did not know. But I have to be fair. I ain't gonna lie with no everybody. Problem. Hey, hey, you don't cry. Don't cry. Don't cry. Don't cry. We love you, man. I'm supposed to say. Stay for real. Now, I don't have too many drinks and I don't know where these conversations are going or leading. And when J-Twine start getting using those big words and, and getting real deep. And I, I'm emotional right now. Like, I, I, I'm i going through with my mom, my friend, Kendra, she's, you know, so fucking weird. My kids, they're not answering the, they're not answering the phone. Like, come on now, um, let's do this on another time, another place. You got my number, let's not do it in front of the crowd. You know how, and then we got Oliver here. He's a messy bitch. I, I, I love y'all when I found out that they had talked about that. We not talking though. It's not talking, baby. They trying to know the real story. But, so it's just, I, I know, I know the where whole he's story. coming from, where he's starting talking about. But that's about. the thing, it's okay yeah, for us. I know. Don't leave, Wayne, I'll fuck with you. Come sit back down. This is a safe space to talk, and I wish he was here. So I can know. Don't leave, though. Damn. You need a moment for real? You said what? You need a moment for real? Yeah, I'm just, it's just a lot when it yeah. comes to Kendra. It's just like, yeah. and right now, I don't even know what to say or how to feel because we got so much business together. Like, 
and I built my whole career off of Kendrick. So I don't want to feel like yeah. whatever it takes her for granted. And it, it bothers me because it's like, I want to keep moving. And I don't want to stop what we got. And it's, it's hard for me right now. So I love the fuck out of Kendrick. I don't know what, how to tell her that. I don't, I just want us to work. I want to see her own the next. I want to see her grow. I just wish Well, I just want to say, because she's not here to defend herself, that she definitely was angry. But I feel like if you, if she was, I didn't, honestly, when she was going through and I told her straight, like, I don't know what the fuck is happening. She, she, she called me when he commented and that was a couple months ago or whatever to tell me, and like, that's what told me. Down when I see him. Yeah. So I already knew that if she, right. if she didn't keep herself calm, that it was going to be an issue. And she had made that very clear for both her and, uh, what's called kind of that, mm -hmm. that both of them were highly upset, uh, Wayne. Man, everything going on with Kendra is like, it's like, I don't even know what to do. It's like, I want us to grow. I want us to be there. I want us to make it. But it's like, I don't, I don't know. Like, in the shit with Dominique, I didn't want it, it to go left, but it did. So it's like, now that the shit gone left, and I only got Kendra here, that shit hurt me. Like, I always had her here. And then, you know, like, even with times when, when they didn't want me, you know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers didn't see me. Like, I, I still, I know Kendra was there to protect me. And like, you know what I'm saying? She was my real friend. And now I'm like, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to let her down. Like, you know what I'm saying? I want to be there, but it's like, I don't know how to be there for somebody that we ain't even communicating. I don't know. Okay. It's just fucked up. So, you know, you know, I got love for you. So, you know, everything I'm about to come out of my mouth, right. it's out of love, it's not out of gold. I'm right. excited, you know, I'm not that, I've never been that type of person. Right. Right now, it's time to focus on you. Right. And I say that because you can't be there for Kendra if you ain't there for yourself right now. Right. And I'm saying that from experience, and I'm saying that out of love. Because I'm going to be honest with you, Wayne. I said, I'm about to pull away and I'm going to have a conversation. Because we know we have had conversations last been. year. You was right. the one that pulled me from a ledge and whooping a bitch's ass last year. Right. And we've had, we've, we've had these hard to hard conversations. So I know the way that nobody else knows. Right. And that's just some real shit. Right. Just like you know me, I know you. Right. You have to, and I've told you this before, you have to let shit go. Right. Because if you keep holding on to shit from the past, right. it's going to continue to fuck you up. Man, it's always Jay that just run up on me. And he actually touched me in a special way. And going through this right now with Kendra, I really need a real friend. I need somebody that's gonna really be real with me and not cut corners. This issue with Kendra is becoming overwhelming. Like, I don't wanna feel like I'm doing the wrong thing. I don't wanna be, you know what I'm saying, leaving her behind and feel like I'm moving forward with my career and feel like I'm gonna prosper because that's not what I wanna do. I will bring my friend along just as well. Anybody call my phone, hit my line, and want to book Kendra, anything, I'm going to make sure she get it. Even though I'm not getting paid anymore, I'm going to move forward. And I'm going to make sure if she need me, you know what I'm saying, I can be there. But right now, mentally, I got to be there for me because it's not working. It's crazy. And I understand, and I understand the part of it is hurt. And I get that. Because right. trust me, there's bitches in this group that I've had to, uh, that I have had to forgive, right. and they ain't never sent an apology. But you gotta learn that for yourself. Because not every Dominique may never apologize to you the way you want him to apologize to you. But guess what? Dominique running around the city and worried about you. So that's something that you have to figure out what you have to do to move past that situation without an apology. And I'm not gonna tell you that that shit is easy. But sometimes that shit gonna be hard as fuck, especially when you have to continuously see that person in their face. Now listen, y'all might have heard me getting my friend's ass, but as, as, as friends, that's what the hell you're supposed to do from time to time. Now, I love Kendra to death, but Wayne, this is your moment, this is your time, take it. I, well, I hope and I pray that Wayne is listening to everything that I am saying right now, because baby, Wayne got something special. You have to take that moment and do what's best for you. And at times, it may look like, damn, I'm fucking up my friendship. But at the end of the day, if you ain't right for your damn self, you can't be right for nobody else. So I need you. To boss the fuck up. Yeah, I feel you. I got you. I love and you. And know that it's not a love, but I'm for real. 
Right. And I don't want you to take no time. And, and I, I will tell. I don't want you to take no time trying to apologize, to nominee. It's time right. to work. It, focus on you. We gotta start giving ourselves a lot of a lot more grace than what we give ourselves yeah, because okay. everything that that people exude to us or give us, it's not always because of us. It may be because mm, of shit they got going yeah. on. So quit putting that on yourself. Give you're yourself right. more grace because if you look at yourself like I'm not a person that deserves to be treated this way, okay, then you're not. I'm and they got to leave my line. On. Like if you ever love that man once, you can love it. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's hard. Can you put that? And my tongue is rock hard. And I got a pig. What you to let these chairs get into? Baby, I don't know. Every time I leave them in your hands. Every time I leave them in your hands. It just go crazy. It goes around. Right. It goes crazy. All right. Listen, I learned from my previous times trying to get these people together. And tonight, baby, I didn't got me a gum from the cold down there in Los Angeles. I got me some um, Lucky Charms. We just going to say that? Give me 10 seconds. <laughs> It's so hot up underneath all this shit. I got a pee, I got a pee, I got a pee, pee, pee. <laughs> Now where the hell Josie and a pussycat done, got, done goddamn came from? Now listen, I'm having a heart to heart, and you come in talking about a PPP loan. I'm so goddamn, I got to go. Cause at this point, I gotta pee. I ain't got the shit to do. You know what I'm saying? These girls, I can keep you with. Yeah, the other ones, even when I'm not so sure. That, that but what? what? Yeah, I try to keep people in the game. What did I say? You don't think you're going share? No. What did I say? Look at this little motherfucker. Look at him. Like, I know he's putting on an act. I know he's putting on a show, invoking his New York persona that he loves to tap into. And I'm just like, why y'all feeding to his bullshit? Why can't y'all do like how I'm doing and ignore him? What would happen if I just ate another edible? <laughs> what would happen? What would happen? Will I pass out? That'd be probably better than witnessing this bullshit that's going on before my eyes right now. Cause that's all it is, it's bullshit. Can we please? Everybody, let's do a, sh a shot right fast, right quick, right quick. A right shot? Let's cheer to this million dollars this year, y'all. We all getting a million this year. All of us are steering a boat. Come on, all of us. <laughs> Did y'all have fun tonight? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cheers. Cheers to the girls we eat. Oh my God. Uh, we said your friend house. You better watch those B words. You better watch those B words. You better watch those B words. Better watch those Next time on Chasing Atlanta. I wanted to catch up on the last time we sat down and talked months ago about me joining your house. The question is asked about the whole Wayne situation, y'all situation with Wayne. So y'all cool or what? Wayne, Wayne. Give me some room, let a big bitch come through. Back in 2018, I feel like me and you were low-key the freaking fact before you and Dominique became freaking frack. I'm frack. screaming. If you are working to be a better person, you should also work to be a better friend. Y'all got a fake trip. y'all trying to put me in a mix of y'all bullshit. We don't want you to hear anybody go. I've been bitching story lies for years. You need to calm the fuck down and put the fucking crown back on. Okay. Calm the fuck down. Calm the fuck down.